Good morning, WLA family. Our devotion for today is based on the Word of God as it's found in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. I'll be referencing some of those verses in today's devotion. When I first started teaching at WLA in the 1990s, if you went to a WLA varsity football game, it wasn't uncommon to hear Pastor Zahn's voice as he gathered the team together in a huddle before the game started. And the one booming question he had for his team before the battle on the field was, Are you ready? The week before the game had been spent with hours of preparation. The offense and the defense had rehearsed their assignments over and over. And now it was time to see if all that preparation had paid off. As the pregame, Are you ready? rang in their ears, a loud, unison chorus of, Yeah! was yelled back to Pastor Zahn, indicating the player's readiness to play that game. So are you ready? It's the Advent season. Are you prepared for Christ's coming, not only for his birth at Christmas time, but especially for his coming judgment when he comes again? He will come and save and... He will come and destroy. What is your preparation for being ready? In 1 Peter 3, we are told about Noah and his family. God told Noah to build an ark. The people on earth had become corrupt and were full of violence. So God decided he was going to destroy life on earth, except for Noah and his family. These wicked people had 120 years to repent of their sins and wickedness, but their preparation did not include repentance. Their disobedience to God's word and will aroused his angry judgment so intensely that he drowned every living creature on the face of the earth, except for those in the ark. And how did Noah prepare? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 tells us, By faith Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. The waters of the flood that rid the world of sin and its effects saved Noah and his family in that ark. So are you ready? The devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh provide challenges and struggles every day. Life in this world means there will be conflict, hardship, illness, and fatigue. Satan can whisper that your sins are too many and too terrible to be forgiven. The world can mock your belief that forgiveness is free and full and complete. There must be something that we can do that will prepare us for Christ's coming. Well, just as the football team yelled, Yeah! to the question, Are you ready? So can we. And it's not because of something that we can do. Verse 18 from 1 Peter 3 provides us with all we need to know about being ready. It says, Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous. What a staggering statement of undeserved grace. Christ died for sins once for all. Although we repeatedly sin in our lives, Christ's one act of atonement covers all sins of all people. The debt of our sins was paid in full by Jesus. We will now be able to approach our Father on Judgment Day because we have been declared not guilty by the work of Jesus, the Righteous One. Through God's Word, the Holy Spirit works faith in our hearts and gives us the power to believe that God saved us. There's no question or doubt about it. His work for us is sure and certain, finished and completed. Christ, the righteous one, died for the unrighteous, for us. Every moment of your life, you can live with the confidence that the debt of your sin is paid in full. You are ready. Thank you, Jesus, for your once-for-all death and sharing it with us so that we may know our salvation 
is certain in you. Amen.